asparagus and cancer, hell no, that's no affair we're talking about, dearies. Rather, it's a combat of sorts if latest health trivia is to be believed. So, how much water do claims of asparagus fighting cancer hold? Only one way to find out. Read ahead. Where do asparagus and cancer lead to? The latter succumbing to the wholesome nutrition and medicinal value of the former, if one is to believe the latest health trivia that is making the rounds of the alternative and natural healing circuits. Well, I don't mean to sound either skeptical as we all know for a fact that all green veggies, asparagus in this case, do come with their individual packages of nutrition and healing properties. However, I don't wish to place absolute, blind faith in this recent asparagus and cancer cure hype either, at least not before I completely understand the underlying machinery of how asparagus or nutrients therein work to the detriment of cancerous growths and malignant tissues. So, what is it about asparagus that is believed to be effective against cancer and tumorous growths? Well, the following segment lays out all the information about this topic. How does asparagus fight cancer? To begin with, let's take a quick look at what is it in asparagus nutritional armory that deals a killer blow to cancer cells. That way, it would be easier to understand how this green dynamite of a vegetable works against cancer and relieves symptoms and physical discomforts associated with cancerous growths. Right arrow flavonoids. By now we are all pretty well informed about the anti-carcinogenic ability of flavonoids and their efficacy in countering cancerous developments and relieving cancer indications. Flavonoids are a kind of biochemical antioxidants that are found in abundance in a lot of fruits, vegetables, herbs and certain processed foods such as dark chocolate and beverages such as wine. There are many different types of flavonoids and these are mostly produced by plants. Various other reasons apart, when they are under attack by certain disease causing microscopic pathogens. This way, flavonoids perform a sort of immune function and we are all aware of the fact that the immune system and immune defenses are the most significant players when it comes to fighting cancer and staving abnormal cellular developments. Right aerofarulic acid, another powerful antioxidant. Forulic acid is present on the cellular walls of asparagus and its chief anti-carcinogenic action involves preventing new blood vessels to grow from existing ones around malignant growths. You see, these new blood vessels divert nutrition and oxygen from the primary blood stream towards cancer tissues, giving them access to nutrition so that they grow and spread faster. By shutting off this nutritional channel to cancers and malignant tissues, Forulic acid literally makes them starve and, thereby, make it easier for the body's immune defenses to overpower them. The chemical structure of ferulic is also very similar to that of curcumin, the chief medicinal ingredient of turmeric, and we all know how powerful an antioxidant and anti-inflammatory agent turmeric is. So, basically, the bottom line says that the more antioxidants you get inside your body, the lesser you are vulnerable to various types of cancers. You see, while on one hand these antioxidants boost up your immune system and equip it with better cancer and virus fighting powers, it has been proved beyond doubt that certain cancers, cervical cancer for instance, are caused by viral activities, on the other hand, they prevent free radicals from running amok all over the body. Aside from radiation, heredity and viruses, Free radicals are among the top causes that lead to cellular abnormalities that, in the long run, turn out as cancerous growths. That also means that regular dietary inclusion of asparagus and cancer prevention are likely to go hand in hand. So you see, not just asparagus but any other fruit, vegetable or processed food item that is rich in antioxidants is equally well equipped to keep cancers away. Some very good dietary source of various antioxidants are green leafy vegetables, citrus fruits, green tea, wine, especially red wine as the grape skins contain the maximum quantity of tannins, which are polyphenols and are believed to be effective antivirals and anti-carcinogens, fresh natural spices such as oregano, turmeric, parsley, ginger, cinnamon, cloves, sage, etc., dark chocolate containing more cocoa than milk solids, 
etc. Also, when one's undergoing chemotherapy or radiation therapy for treating cancer, eating plenty of antioxidant-rich foods ensures that the body recovers faster and better from all this exposure to harsh chemicals and radiation. It all boils down to the same eternal wisdom, eat healthy and there's no reason why you shouldn't stay healthy.